Good morning, guys. So, I had to get out of bed and do this video because I just had a really crazy, uh, intense vision. So forgive me if I'm a little slow. <laughs> um, but I knew I had to do this video. And it's funny because the sun is just coming up. Uh, Cl Clyde, stop it. Because the sun is just coming up. And that's going to be funny once I tell you about this, this vision I had. Um, actually, oh, shoot, look at my hair. Um, hold on a second. We're going to do that. Yeah, we're going to do that. Okay. So this vision I had, it's definite. Oh, okay. Let me just tell you about it, what, what I saw first, and then I'll go into the meaning of what I think is behind it. It was so crazy, guys. And it was actually really beautiful, like really beautiful. I like, I wish I could like take pictures and just like show them to you. Like what, like what I saw. Um, it was like winter wonderland. It was very Disney fantastical. It was all decked out in holiday, like Christmassy, very, very winter, winter wonderland. And there are all these people like out and about enjoying it, you know, enjoying like all the things they were seeing. There are all these different like ice sculptures and just, just be beautiful, beautiful, like snow. It was just, it was really, not, it was really beautiful. Um, I noticed though that like it was the time of day before the sun comes up. Like, what would you call that? Is that dusk? Um, like three in the morning, four in the morning, five in the morning, you know, where it's like, it's that really like dark, hazy blue, but there's a tiny little bit of light, you know, that, that kind of time of day. Uh, but people didn't care. Like people were just enjoying themselves. But at the same time, I noticed there were a lot of like ice sculptures around, right? I still noticed that of like ice sculptures of people. Like it looked like, it almost looked like there had been like little families or people just like playing and then they like got frozen in time kind of situation, but it was like, it was just beautiful. So just enjoying it. And just as the sun was coming up, a piece of ice just came into my hand, like just appeared into my hand and I could tell I had a design on it, but I couldn't see what it was. And so I held it up to the light guys this is like so crazy. So I held it up to the light and it was an anvil and a hammer An anvil and hammer is basically it's, a, you can even look it up. It's essentially masculine force with feminine force coming together for creation yeah i know right and the second i looked at it first of all it looked pristine like the ice was so clear like no impurities or anything like that if, if, for, if for any of you like nerds out there who like know about ice and water and impurities and like bacteria and all that stuff to get ice that pure and pristine and clean looking is really freaking hard there's not too many places in the world where you can get water that pure just naturally to freeze in such a clear pristine way but anyway not going there um the second i realized that and noticed that and was holding it up to the light holding it up to the sun that had just come up it got like dead quiet and i looked around and everyone had turned into ice <laughs> everyone had turned into ice and i was like oh shit it's getting real man like it's getting real guys like people who are ascending awakening counterparts who are coming into alignment in their in in their individuality their own autonomy in order to come into alignment together to do their work and missions and all of that stuff I'm like and unions of course it's it's guys it's getting real it's happening december i think december and january i think are going to be super super big peak months for this to happen because at the end of December, we do have that. Uh, well, first of all, Winter Wonderland. I feel like that was, and all that Christmassy stuff I was seeing, definitely feel like that was part of the message. Um, but also at the end of December, we have our last eclipse of the year. And it's a big one. I had, shoot, I need to look it up and see what sign it's in. Pretty sure it's in Capricorn, if I'm not mistaken. I feel like it's in Capricorn. I could be wrong, but I feel like it's in Capricorn. Um, or Aquarius. No, I feel like it's Capricorn. Something's telling something in my gut's telling me it's Capricorn. Anyway, and then that is uh, literally ushering us into 2020, the big game time year. Okay, <laughs> I know. It's like as I was watching this, I was just like, uh, <laughs> like even in the vision, I was just like, I cannot believe what Spirit is showing me. It was freaking beautiful, guys. So let's pull some cards, right? I think we should pull some cards. Um, and considering that this is definitely about awakenings and ascensions, and for a lot of us, our own counterpart situation, keep in mind, people are still coming into union right now. People are still coming into alignment right now, um, finishing their ascensions right now between like now and like September, October. But December and January is going to be big, guys. It's going to be big. So uh, let's use the shaman deck, shall we? I'm just going to ask for just 
general takeaway messages for what that vision was about um, to see if they if spirit wants to give us anything else okay and like I said I just came out of it so keep in mind if I'm a little slow I mean my eyes aren't even opening all the way <laughs> uh, okay mm. spirit and ancestors any extra any other messages or takeaways you want the collective to be aware about or the spiritual community to be aware about. Oh, they just said everyone. Oh, wow. Everyone. They want everyone to be aware about. Well, I don't know if everyone's going to see this video. But <laughs> um, but at least for people who will watch. Any messages or takeaways that I might not have addressed? Or even that I did address? It is kind of nice to watch the sun come up, though. <laughs> wow, my eyes look so tiny. <laughs> Mm. yeah guys the anvil and the hammer the second I saw that I just knew mm. okay. not to mention it's like all that imagery of like snow and ice and like pure ice at that and just winter wonderland it's like oh my god that just reeks of like spiritual interest like spiritual spiritual <laughs> spiritual ascensions um spiritual awakenings spirituality in general purity i just like oh my god guys it's getting so real let's see what we got here <laughs> look at that the mystical shaman 38 breaking down to an 11. I feel like I don't even have to explain this one to you guys, but I mean, let, let's touch on it a little bit. It's the mystical shaman. It's, it's the person who is ascended. It's the person who is awake. It's the person who is aligned and connected and sees and knows and, and just has, has reached that, that place of nirvana, essentially of their version of nirvana to do healing work, all about healing work. The mystical shaman knows. That's what they just told me. The mystical shaman knows. Any other messages or takeaways from that vision for everyone? <laughs> Any other messages or takeaways from that vision? Oh, wow. The child. Oh, hold on. Focus. The child with the energy of seven being on your path. Oh, wow. This card's about second chances. And the second, like, I was just, every time I, I get a card, guys, I actually consult with my guides telepathically. I, I take a moment. And that's what I was um, consulting with them about. Because I was like, this card's about second chances. And they said second life. Guys, so some of these ascensions and awakenings are so intense that it, it's like you're going, a, a lot of people who are resonating with this or a lot of people who will be um, impacted by December and January in their awakenings and ascensions for some, even their first time, it's basically setting them on a course to come into this energy of a new life of basically everything before this moment of ascension of awakening of alignment is going to feel like a past life and I can even attest to that myself it's like I was who was I talking to about this I was talking to Danny actually from Northern Comfort shout out to Danny hey Danny I haven't talked to him in a while I gotta see how he's doing um hope you're doing good Danny <laughs> um that it's almost like looking back at my past it does feel like a past life it kind of does it's eerie and He's begging me for food, but his feeder is about to go off any minute. Um, it is like a past life, looking back at my past, after, especially after going through like this second ascension, which actually went a lot quicker than I anticipated. Um, and a lot of a lot of you are going to start feeling that way when you hit this point or when December and January come, comes in and happens. Like I said, for some people, you're going to feel that way. Others, it's going to be September, November, or you've already just started coming out of it, kind of like me with aligning within yourself. Because let's be really clear, guys, especially those who are counterparts, it's about aligning within yourself. It's not about 
be like, you know, getting on the same page with the person, it eventually leads to that. But it's about aligning within yourself first, okay? And same with your counterpart. They have to align within themselves first. And once you guys reach that alignment or that stage of enlightenment, so to speak, that stage of hitting that high vibe frequency, it's going to feel like a whole new life. Like the old you was truly like another you in another life in another timeline. It really does feel that way. It really feels that way. Um, not to mention it's also indicative of what we've all been talking about for a long time about the new earth, right? The new earth. All right, let's see what here. Any other messages? Any other messages or takeaways from that vision? All right, so we had something else come out here. Let's see what we got. <laughs> so it's interesting because we have the journey 29 another 11 and the luminous warrior 32 breaking down to a five but journey came out in reverse and it felt very important that it came out reversed i never read these cards reverse i never feel a need to but i feel like it's basically just really hitting home like hey that part of the journey's over it's coming to an end because we're coming into the new earth I know, guys, this is like, this is a little heavy, right? It's a little heavy, but I'm going to put it back up, right? I just wanted to really hit that home with you. Oh, I'm, and now that I have, I'm like drawn to the owl, right? Reaching that level of ascension, that level of enlightenment, that level of intuition, being in so in touch with spirit and so in touch with yourself. Luminous Warrior is about exactly, exactly how it sounds. It's about having so much unconditional love and compassion that you can really do anything. And it's also like a warrior of light, a warrior of love. Wow, guys, this is, this is, I'm, I'm loving this. I'm so loving this. I'm loving this. On the bottom, we have the Andean cross with the energy of two. And the sh in shamanic practices, it's literally just every direction, right? Every direction represents a different aspect of life, a different aspect of spirituality, north, south, east, and west, and being aligned with that, being in tune with that. Yeah, guys, it's getting real. <laughs> it's getting real. Okay, so let's break this down a little bit. I'm actually not interested in looking at this card because it's, it's exactly what I was already telling you guys, right? It's like, it's just being that person who knows. It's being in your spirituality. It's owning your spirituality. It's becoming essentially the luminous warrior and the mystical shaman. It's becoming a being of healing. Becoming that new person, stepping into the new earth and what that means, right? To become part of that. But I do want to look at the child. I do want to look at the child. Um, and he's right away for this one. Guys, this was intense. Really wish I could have taken pictures. Tell me about the child. 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 And you know, guys, what's really interesting? Um, as I was just talking about being aligned within ourselves as opposed for the counterparts out there, being aligned within ourselves as opposed to like trying to be on the same page and same place as our counterpart, right? Because it's about what's going on within us. Usually when I get these kind of visions, I can always feel like a masculine and a feminine, like very different, very separate. I'm not feeling that right now, guys. I'm not. That's like, that's true alignment. That's true alignment. It's talking about the child. Tell me 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 about the child. Oh, wow. Knight of Cups, Piscean energy, also could be water or fire. This is coming forward with what? With love. With love. With unconditional love, deciding to move forward into the new earth, into your new lives with love in your heart, with love to give to others. This could also be indicative of a love offer that a lot of you will be experiencing, especially those counterparts coming into union during December, Jan well, actually from now until January. I'll just say from now until January. But keep in mind, September is going to be a big peak month. October, we're, getting, we're still going to see some of that. I feel like November is going to be a lull a little bit. And then December and January is going to be really big peaks. Tell me about the child. Tell me about the child. 
<laughs> the moon. Sorry, I don't mean to laugh like that. I'm 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 a little loopy when I'm tired. Pis Piscean energy. Could also you can't see for me as a reader. This is a lot of heavy Pisces energy coming at us, guys. Keep in mind Neptune is retrograding in Pisces till I believe October. Or is it November? I'm pretty, it's, I'm pretty sure it's October, but it could be November when it goes direct. But this is coming forward with love and serious emotion and intuition. Intuition as well. Um, for those coming into union, why do I feel like this is not obvious? Mm. Sorry, I don't know why that made my heart chakra jolt. I like, I literally felt like a, like a little jolt in my heart chakra when I said that. Um, there's there's definitely some one of your counterparts one of the counterparts is coming forward with love whoever's going to be resonating with this but it's hidden it's almost like like there's no belief in it or like it can't be seen it can't be seen for some reason it can't be seen i don't know what that's about it needs to be that way okay my guys said it needs to be that way um but coming man it's coming and there's just a sense of intuition though from the person who's coming in from the person who's coming in with this love offer, again, for those that this resonates with, there's such a sense of intense intuition coming from this person, but it feels a little new. It feels a little new. So I feel like the counterpart that's coming forward is is the one that like has kind of been a little lagged in their spiritual progress, a little bit lagged in their spiritual progress. And I'm just being drawn to the two dogs. I'm being drawn to the two moon dogs. I just like, I can't help but look at that as like the alignment of the masculine and feminine here. Tell me more about the child. Tell me more about the child. Oh God, even in the, in the moon and the sun here. This is the only um, moon card that I've ever seen and noticed that has like a sun and moon kind of combined in it together. And what do we know about the sun and the moon? It's the father and the mother. All right, it's the father and the mother. That polarity, that duality. Tell me about the child. Tell me about the child. Oh, can you guys tell it got a little brighter? Wow, a knight of wands. Sag energy could also be Aries or Leo. Okay, you guys, you guys got to look at this. This, oh my God, I got the chills. These two are being drawn together, but there's a sense of like, yes, there's that intuitive bond. There's that tele te telepathic bond, but it's so crazy to me because it's like, as this alignment is happening, as this alignment is finishing, it's almost like the two aren't even aware of how close they're coming in together. Look at that. Look at that. Not to mention you have water and fire meeting in the middle, right? Sun, the moon, water, fire. It's, oh my God, you guys. Oh God. I like, I wish I had all of my, like, oh, all my awakenedness with me right now. <laughs> so I can really like preach about this. But you guys get what's going on here. This is total alignment and it's bringing counterparts together very quickly it's bringing both sides together within yourself for that to happen on the external everything happens on the internal to the external everything happens that way it's not external to the internal it's internal to the external but that's what's going on here as both counterparts are getting to a place where they're coming to the end of their alignment the end of their awakenings the end of their ascensions which end is like not the right term i'm like nothing is really ending but you guys get what i'm saying reaching to that point of the journey, right? Where it's it's time to come together. It's time to meet. It's time to join forces here. But it's it's so funny as intuitive as both of these beings are, as as telepathic as these two beings are, it's almost like they don't even know they're almost like crashing in together. That's what it is. Thank you. It's almost like they don't even know they're crashing in together. This could also be a very spontaneous run in with each other for some of you. Spirit, you are so funny. Tell me more about the child. Tell me more about the child. So, I, sorry, I'm stopping. I feel like you guys are asking me about other videos. So, I did air signs yesterday, but I, I, I had a lot of issues with my computer, actually, and some funkiness with one of the videos. So, it was really late last night when I was finishing processing them, so I'm just, I'm just posting them this morning. Actually, by the time you see this, they've probably already been posted. So, it's funny. I've addressed that. <laughs> Tell me about the child. Tell me about the child. And then today I'm going to do earth signs. Oh, wow. This is very interesting. So now we have 
Magician in reverse. Mercurial energy could also be Virgo, Gemini. Uh, for me as a reader, it's Aquarius, Scorpio, divine masculine energy. And judgment in reverse is fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Why does this feel like a resistance? Delayed. This Okay, interesting. This is for the delayed batches is what they're telling me. <laughs> yeah, this message is for, is for the delayed batches. Someone's been holding this process up for those who feel like their journey has been delayed, where it's like you're supposed to come into union a lot sooner. But someone delayed the process. And I got to be honest, it feels like it feels like the more dominant masculine one. I say dominant masculine one because we all have for counterparts. If you are a divine feminine, you have divine masculine within you. If you're a divine masculine, you have divine feminine within you. So that's what I mean. Like who you would refer to as the divine masculine in the situation. I just they really want me to say it that way. So you guys always remember that you're never just feminine energy and that you're never just masculine energy, that there is a part of each of you in the other. OK, because you guys are connected that way. Anyway, yeah, someone held this process up. Someone held this process up. That's what they're hitting home with this. This is just for the delayed people. It's for the delayed people. And judgment's being called on this. Judgment is about to be called on this. Overall energy, we have the emperor. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. I know I don't even need to explain this, this energy to you coming up in this reading, but essentially it is, yes, it is the divine masculine counterpart portion um, in this reading here. Underneath that, we have... The Queen of Wands, Aries energy could also be fire or water. I feel like this is the Divine Feminines. The Emperor is looking at this Divine Feminine here, um, thinking about this Divine Feminine. Yeah, this is, yeah, man, I really feel like the masculine energy is the one who delayed this. Now, guys, when I also say that, I also want to point out that for the feminine energies, my Divine Feminines, there is also something about your inner masculine that has been delayed in whatever it is you've been assessing about it or needing to assess about your inner masculine energy. And I feel like that's also part of this um, this alignment happening in this way for people who are delayed. Feminines, you are probably spending these last couple months or you probably recently spent the last couple months finally healing any last bit of your in internal masculine um, or reining in of that last little bit of your internal masculine. Definitely, I'm talking to people who've got like father issues. Definitely, I'm talking to people who have like some control issues as well, um, who have a bit of a shadowy masculine side within their, you know, for my divine feminines. Okay, no, no shade. I'm just, I'm just the messenger here. But this emperor definitely looks at this feminine energy, this divine feminine as just being so incredibly attractive, magnetic, irresistible, can't stay away. Y'all know this already. <laughs> uh, so let's keep it moving to journey and luminous warrior here let's look at journey i'm not interested in luminous warrior for the same reason i'm not interested in mystical shaman okay it's the same reason i'm not interested in either one of these because it's just about what we're coming into what the beings that we basically are i mean we're just we're beings of, of unconditional love of unconditional love and healing and ascended beings for the new earth so i'm just really interested in the journey especially that since it came out reverse and in indicating that there's a sense of hitting that milestone that okay milestone's better than ending milestone is better than the word end because it's not an end it's not an end it's hitting that milestone it's hitting that milestone okay so let's look at journey after i get some water <laughs> mm. Mm. After this, I'm going to the gym. Um, mm, yeah, legacy. Legacy. I almost went for spellcasters, but legacy is calling me for this one. Okay. Tell me about the journey. Tell me about the journey. Tell me about the journey. Resistance is done. They're telling me resistance is done. Tell me about the journey. Tell me about the journey. Ooh. Oh, okay. Some of my divine masculines. Oh, God. What is this called? Oh, there's a word for this in shamanic practices. I feel like I've talked about it before, too. Excuse me, in other readings. Um, and, and I know I've read about this, too. So in shamanic practices... Uh, and other cultures too, other cultures too, like other um, spiritual beliefs, 
there's this initiation that occurs and it's like it's an initiation by fire where it's like I've actually been through it myself it can be a little it can be a little startling where some people actually experience this in the 5d where it it sounds very crude the way I'm going to say it because it's not in like the spiritual sense but I'm going to try to explain it the best way I can where essentially your essence is set ablaze to purify you to purify you so that you can finally release yourself of anything else that needs to be released because you are initiated, you are ascended, okay? Um, that's essentially the meaning of it. So, like Some of these divine masculines have just experienced this. Will And also will be, will be, okay? That's playing a role. They just want me to mention that that's definitely playing a role for some of the masculines here, okay? If you actually have visions of it, because not everyone does, not everyone actually sees that process happen to them some people just feel it and it feels very it feels very very intense um for those who have uh actual visions of it or actually see it um don't be startled don't be scared you're okay it's a it's a positive thing okay tell me about the journey tell me about the journey tell me about the journey Tell me about the journey. 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 Mm. Tell me about the journey. 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 Oh, this is interesting. Page of Swords in reverse to a Page of Cups. Wow, this is a major transition, guys. This is a major transition. This isn't a transition from, uh, how do I say this? Deceitful? Deceitful words, cold words, um, refusal to speak, uh, stubborn, I'm getting stubborn, uh, your refusal to see, it's like that kind of energy with a page of swords, also lying, thank you, also just flat out lying, oh, okay, <laughs> and flat out lying, that kind of behavior, that kind of way of being, that kind of way of thinking, to a page of cups upright, which is very heartfelt genuine emotional apologies it's it's also written word they're telling me some okay written words gonna be important for a lot of you guys written words gonna be important for a lot of you guys but this is the journey here um this is the transition of the journey from that kind of mindset and way of being very low vibrational very 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 low vibrational to very high vibing don't be thrown by the fact that they're pages okay because pages even though they're about even though they're children and it's about like new it is also about um authenticity authenticity and uh i know genu genuinity genuinity that's a hard word for me um who we really are right who we really are going from this way of being not seeing lying to ourselves lying to others not seeing the way out of things being immature being stubborn being selfish being egotistical to this energy to being of love tell me about the journey not holding back is what I'm hearing too. Not holding back. Tell me about the journey. Well, <laughs> page of wands. Oh my God, page of wands. This is creation. This is new ideas. And again, authenticity, genuinity, right? Is that even a word? Why does it feel weird coming out of my mouth? Maybe because I'm tired. Um, but yeah, new ideas, creativity, inspiration. I can't believe we have all three pages out here. Pages are also indicative of seasons, guys. Very indicative of seasons and transitions as well. Page of Swords is about winter. Page of Cups is about summer. No, sorry, I take that back. Take that back. Page of Wands is about summer. Spring, yeah. Page of Wands is about summer. Page of Cups is about fall, excuse me. And Page of Swords is about winter. And what was my vision about? Being in winter wonderland as the sun comes up. As the sun comes up, right? Page of Cups is fall. That's right around the corner. Page of Wands, we're in summer right now. It, Yeah, guys, a lot of you are going to be coming into Union December and January for those who are resonating with this. 
yeah and we're coming into fall and then winter i'll be it's gonna be crazy if we get the page of um pentacles out here so what is that word <laughs> all right tell me about the journey tell me about the journey tell me about the journey yeah, sorry, they're, they're, they want me to say that again. I guess I didn't say it well. <laughs> Summer, fall, winter. Okay. Tell me about the journey. It's so interesting because it's almost like a backwards thing. Because it's like summer, fall, winter, right? But this is the transition of the spiritual journey this way. But seasons are flowing that way. Got me? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Time about the journey. They just told me mirroring, mirroring. Wow. Oh, beautiful. Hangman in reverse, Piscean energy and the devil in reverse, Capricorn energy. Enlightenment, spiritual enlightenment, awakenings moving forward and leaving the devil, toxicity, codependency behind. Oh, I love that. I love that. Overall, oh, oh man, death in reverse. Scorpionic energy, rebirth, rebirth, <laughs> second chances, second life, new life, new earth, rebirth, guys. Yeah, this is getting serious. This is getting real serious. By the way, underneath that, we do have the Queen of Swords. I just feel the need to point this out. Libra energy could also be air or water. This is a very intuitive queen, a very enlightened queen. It's that enlightened, intelligent, rational, I, I, I see and understand all. I see and understand all. Wow, guys, this this is intense. And honestly, I'm I'm so happy I did this video. That vision, and also think I thanked Spirit for that vision because that was just that vision said everything. That vision said everything I needed to know for the collective and everything that I pretty much you know needed to tell you guys and anything that you guys have been probably wondering about or wanting to know about New Earth and hold on, Clyde. Thank you. Um, been wondering about new earth and ascensions or for your counterparts like when union is going to happen for some of you especially those who've been feeling the sting of those delays Clyde Clyde he, he knows he's trying to get my attention um, especially for people who've been feeling the sting of those delays but no just like no it's like why am I not in union yet? I know I'm supposed to be in union already if this is resonating with you it's you know December, January. Okay, December, January going to be big. I don't feel the need to even pull any more cards, guys. I really don't. I really don't. I mean, I feel like it's very clear that this is purely about inner alignment and what's going on within us as individuals and how it will transpire on the external. But with all of that Christmassy stuff I was seeing, I definitely feel strongly December and January. Um, Get ready, guys. Get ready. I'm like, I'm excited. This gets me really, really excited. 2020 is going to be a big, big, big year um, for coming into the new, new north, into north, into north, into the new earth. Um, but anyway, guys, congratulations for those who have gone into union, who are going into union right now as the day I'm filming, and to those who will be going into union uh, by December, January, um, before this other wave of counterparts that starts to come online. Because that's the other reason too, guys. It's like, I think why Spirit gave me this message. I was talking to Danny about this too. Hi again, Danny. Um, that new wave has to come in. That new wave has to come in, come online and get their shit started. Uh, this wave, it's time to wrap some shit up. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's time to get on board or, or just walk away. It's like, it's time. It's time. No more pussyfooting around. Time to put the hammer to the anvil. Okay? All right, guys. I hope you guys have a really great day. Um, and I hope this gave some of you guys some comfort. I, th I think it did. I think it gave some of you guys some comfort. Um, and I will see you guys later, okay? Namaste.